when we're talking about ski technologies, we also have technologies that are specific to the target. Here on your screen, you can see an all-mountain side cut, which we use in our all-mountain skis. This is a round radius, as the diagram explains. It allows for an easy turn initiation because the side cut reveals itself from the waist very early. And it's also got a very subtle, subtle tip that won't get hooky in soft snow, crud, or powder. Compare that to a high-performance side cut. This one's elliptical. What that means is it's much flatter under the waist. The side cut is longer in revealing itself, and then it's very dramatic in the tip of tail. It builds that snow pressure in the tip right away, but then the rest of the side cut is meant to be engaged when the ski is deeply bent against hard snow. It's going to give you that stability and that performance at speed that you're looking for. In racing, we've got a new side cut technology that's pretty cool. It's a dual performance technology. Slalom side cut in the tip and a GS radius under the floor body, quick initiation, versatility in the rest of the turn. Park and pipe, we've got a new construction in the Ace of Spades. Full wood core, two sheets of metal, symmetrical side cut. Very, very cool. Backcountry freestyle. This is the one we worked on with Bushy. Fully symmetrical design, same exact tip and tail, zero camber, which is what he found was the best performance for him in trying to stomp switch landings and pow and give him the best switch performance and pow. For Big Mountain, we've got some really unique designs. They're all wide bodies, obviously, but you've got a very flat, very round tail and a low rise tip. Tip comes up, always gives you flotation. Tail breaks free, floats through powder, gives you an effortless performance. When you look at the collection overview of how we build up the collection, you can see on your screen the different targets of skiers that are out there and the different skis that come in our collection to match those targets. For all round, you've got Sport Machine. For front side of the mountain, Speed Machine. For racing, it's Doberman. For all mountain, it's Hot Rod or HR Pro. And for park and pipe and free ride, you've got all kinds of different very specific models like the Ace of Spades. Let's start with all mountain. For all mountain for 2009, we've got two collections that are really into one because this all mountain category has gotten so big. At the top end of the performance scale, you've got HR Pro or Hot Rod Pro, and then you've got the traditional Hot Rod. These target skiers are high performance skiers, but they're ready for adventure and they want to explore all of the mountain. The side cut is round, as you see on your screen. Again, that's important. It allows the ski to easily initiate into a turn, but then a tip shape that's not going to get nervous in variable conditions. And that's unique because you've got this all mountain side cut paired up with a sandwich construction that's going to give you the durability and stability you need when you get on the front side of the mountain. Plus, with all of these skis, you're getting cross-balance technology that gives you a huge sweet spot for perfect performance in all types of terrain, but also all types of conditions for somebody who's looking to challenge the entire mountain. In the HR Pro Series, you've got the 90 and 84 waisted skis. The 90s are the Hell Divers, which are a TI and a CA. And you've got, in the 84s, the Jet Fuel TI on the top and CA on the bottom. The difference between the TI and the CA, guys, is that the TI versions of these skis are going to come with two sheets of metal all the way over the edge, one on the top, one on the bottom. The CA is going to take that metal out and replace it with a carbon fiber construction. What that means is the skis come out of the same mold, but the carbon are going to be lighter, snappier, and a little more playful while the TIs are going to be a little more damp and definitely a little more stable at speed. In the Hot Rod series, you start with the Nitrous. Um, at 78 in the waist, you've got a TI again and a CA. These are the, the Nitrous CA is the best-selling ski in our model perennially. It absolutely plays east to west. A great all-mountain ski. At 76, you've got two brand new constructions and molds from Nordica this year. You've got the Igniter TI, which again features a sandwich construction with metal, and the Nitrous CA, which is an exceptional value. Here in the CA, you've got a 76 waist width, but you go to a partial sidewall technology, giving you the stability underfoot and a little more flexible tip and tail for easier turn initiation and exit. You also get Nordica's cross balance integrated on that Igniter.
Schneider CA. It's a great value. And then our entry, entry price point, hot rod ski is the Hot Rod 74. This is an all new ski, 74 in the waist, features cross balance, it's a carbon fiber construction, and again, you go to that partial sidewall technology. We're also bringing to the market this year a couple of hot rod flat skis. For those who are looking maybe for a little more flexible price positioning, we're looking for a lighter weight ski, but maybe they want to match up with a Fritchie free ride or a marker Duke body, for instance. Both of these are all new skis. The HR Pro Fuel at 84 in the waist and the HR and the Hot Rod Burner at 78. In free ride, you're target, targeting the athlete level, looking for the deeper the better, big mountain type of guy. These are full wood cores with two sheets of metal in all these skis. High performance materials for high performance skiers. Nordica brings a unique approach and a unique design to the market. We've got a very flat, very round tail that offers zero resistance and powder. Wide bodies, obviously, very little to zero camber, and then a very low, long rise tip, which gives you that pop up and powder so you never have that diving sensation. These skis truly offer the best of two worlds. They have everything you want in powder, and they still allow you to have fun on everything else. At the top of the line, you've got the Jaw Love. Totally crazy ski, 140 in the waist, one of the baddest skis on the market. Again, full wood core, two sheets of metal. This ski, guys, has the same amount of material as four full GS race skis. Absolutely insane. Really cool skiing experience. The Jirish is 110 underfoot. Again, you've got full wood core, two sheets of metal, very low rise tip, and that flat tail, which absolutely gives you the most stability and zero resistance. And then the bridge between Big Mountain and All Mountain is the Enforcer. 98 under waist, this is an unbelievable ski. Just like the Jirish in terms of the technology, but you get a little more side cut and a little narrower waist. It's going to be a little more playful on the front side of the mountain.